Hello and welcome to this training video which will show you how to back up your files on your Windows XP machine for this summer's migration to Windows 7. In order to back up your files you will need two components. One, the computer that you normally use and one USB flash drive. Once you have both of those components you'll need to turn on your computer and log in as you normally would. Then place your USB flash drive into a USB slot on your computer. Once the computer has loaded the appropriate drivers for your USB flash drive, you will need to double click My Computer. Once that window opens, please double click the correct drive for the USB flash drive. This will usually be called Drive E. If the window for Drive E is maximized, you'll need to click the Restore Down button to shrink it to a smaller size window. Then, double click My Computer again and choose the local drive, which is normally called Drive C. On the Drive C window, you'll need to double click the Documents and Settings folder. Once that folder opens, you'll need to locate the folder with your username on it. Once that folder's been located, double click it to open up the folder. Inside this folder, you should see several files. The two that we're looking for today are the favorites file and the folder called My Documents. If you will click on the favorites file and then holding down the control key, click on the My Documents folder. Now both files, the favorite and the My Documents folder should be highlighted. Now with your mouse, click and hold on one of those files and drag them over to the window for your E drive, which is your USB flash drive. Once the files are on top of the USB flash drive folder, you can let go of the mouse and this will begin the copying process. When the copying process is complete, you can close both windows for the C drive and for the USB drive. Then going to the bottom right hand corner, you'll need to click the appropriate button to eject the USB drive. Congratulations, you've now made a successful backup of the files that you will need once we migrate to Windows 7.